Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about the analog signature analyzer, ASA for short, also known as a VI tester, an instrument for locating fault components on a circuit board. Uh, nobody likes to read manual, therefore we decided just to make a video presentation will be divided in three parts. Uh, the first part will talk about the technique itself, that is this one. The second one we're going to see details of the program and see it running. And the third and the last part will be how to make the adjustments to get it running ok. I'm Dalmo Lima. I'm your host for this uh, presentation for the Curious Cat, that's me and my lab uh, on background. The technique, major advantage, no need for electrical diagram. In fact, you have no use in this technique for the electrical diagram, this is just incredible. The board under test is powered off, minimal understanding of uh, how it works is necessary. And it's very good for complex electronics such as computers and or microcontrollers. And the cost of instrument can be very low, depending on how you implement. Warning, you must understand how it works. And it may occur damage to the computer or damage to the circuit under test. It's your responsibility to make the proper adjustments, otherwise something bad can happen. The implementation in the computer, um, we have some major weakness in this technique. It requires a working board. It may not work very well for a power and a high frequency circuits. But what is it? It's basically a I see voltage source that you apply to the circuit and measure the current flowing to the specific points of the circuit. Is it good for digital or only for analog? Well, it can be good for both, especially for digital circuits. Is it a new technique? No, it has been around early 60s, I believe, but in somehow it's not very popular. I don't really understand why. Maybe the implementation years ago were too costly. I don't really know for sure. What's the correct terminology? VI test or ASA? Well, it depends on the use you make it. Uh, you become more clear as you see this uh, presentation. We're going to implement the Analog signature analyzer via computer, Sony card running Windows. A major advantage of doing it, it is a very low cost, provided that you already have the computer. A major weakness uh, by using the computer, the soundboard card uh, has a low out output amplitude for this application. You have to build a, a small amplifier to get it running OK. Uh, we need to work around some uh, limitations imposed by Windows, uh, you see through the software. And the sound card technical specification may be limited or non-existing. Uh, we have some workarounds on the program itself, you see it. The basic circuit for implement uh, the analog signature is here. You have a AC source and a resistor, and this should be the circuit under test. We measure the voltage before and after the resistor using the stereo channel of the sound card. Before the circuit, you have the voltage applied to the circuit, and if you divide, if you subtract the V1 from V2 and divide by the value of the resistor, in our case is one uh, kilo ohm, you have the current flowing through the resistor that is flowing through the circuit. Here is the implementation of the circuit. I'm uh, not going to go into much detail right now, but basically you have only one integrated circuit. And here is a quad operation amplifier. You get the output from the sound card that passes through this first amplifier. And this is the resistor used to measure the current. 
and before and after the resistor we have uh, two points in here that you go to the inputs of the sound card and this is the probes that go to the circuit under test easily to see here that if you have uh, we gonna adjust the gain of this to have 10 volts peak in here that's 20 volts peak to peak and this is just a voltage follower and you have to adjust, you must adjust this resistor for a very low voltage in here, otherwise damage may occur to the sound card. In my case, it is around the uh, 0.2 volts peak um, on the oscilloscope, but it may vary from sound card to sound card. You need a computer with uh, the software uh, we provide. And they need to be a Windows XP service pack 2 and up. And I recommend at least a Pentium computer 3 gigahertz uh, clock. Otherwise, the program may be too slow to run uh, in a practical manner. It can run, but uh, it's, uh, it will be a lot of drag on it. And now let's see the real thing, how it works. Um, here how we start the program in reality ask you for a picture of file we see that later but let's see live live compare uh, okay and it's here and you have our view of the voltage applied to the circuit versus current in here and this is the voltage volts to peak applied to the circuit and the frequency of it right now we have an open circuit no current flowing through the circuit and the, the voltage go through the the full range of it if you go to a short circuit and that you have no voltage and the current go to the maximum that is uh, remember you have one kilo ohm resistor this is 3.3 volts 3.3 million pairs maximum peak to peak in here but if you go through one kilo ohm resistor as you the resistor you have measuring current is one kilo ohm you have a straight line with inclination about 45 degrees in here therefore you can see the inclination of this curve or this straight line give you the resistance from short circuit uh, from open circuit to short circuit give you the the value of the resistance if you go to a capacitor let's say a 0.3 microfarad capacitor depend of the frequency in let's see you get to a point that you have almost a circle it means that the reactance of uh, this capacitor is equal to 1 kilo ohm and then you have a perfect circle at this frequency by just analyzing this curve you can know something about the circuit if you look at to this point of view this will be a VI tester let's see uh, if you can get to a uh, diode in here this is a non-linear circuit this is a diode you have a non-linear curve if you go for a much smaller capacitor let's say a 10 nanofarads capacitor I need to increase the frequency and this uh, Funny curve is caused by the digitalization of the waveform, but you have a signature of it. You can grab this one and compare to another one. Now let's remove from this capacitor, and you can see you memorize in green that curve, and if you compare with another one, you can easily see there's uh, two different things in here. 
This is a reactance and this is a resistance in here. A VI tester, you look through one single curve. If you compare two different curves, you have a signature analyzer. And by doing that, if you have a working board and if you can memorize every point or every track of the circuit board, you can compare a work one with a non-work one and you can locate the fault components by having different curves. I hope uh, you enjoy watching this video. If you like, you can see the next part. You will be the more details about the program itself. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.